the mail ran today, <clears throat> and I got a few things from Jet Pins. First of all, <clears throat> I got the um, two um, manga pins from uh, Tachikawa School Pins. They have the comic G nib. Well, a, a comic nib. And uh, one is sepia, and the other one was black. And it came with uh, one cartridge of ink inside the pen barrel. It's, it's got this nib. It's supposed to be for comic drawing. Then inside the barrel is this little teeny instruction sheet. How to put the ink inside. So <clears throat> According to the instructions, you should put the cap on tightly and take this end, stick it in the side with the ball, and that should be enough. And that's a very strong connection. It doesn't feel like it could break. Now let's see. It's going to be a while before that gets saturated. So um, we'll put the pen together. And let it saturate. I also got me a <clears throat> pack of extra G nibs for my Jin Hao X750s. Even though the nibs on them are still good after more than a year, maybe two on some of them. <clears throat> I saw someone on YouTube do a review of this pen, and I had to have it. That's what sent me to Jet Pens. This was the tiniest nib ever, and I love tiny pens, and it's called the Slimliner Fountain Pen by Point Corporation. So I just cannot wait to try this out. <laughs> I got the brown one. It comes with the converter, so you can use your own ink. And I'll probably put sepia in this too, because I'm like getting so into sepia. I only have one color that's uh, from Higgins. It's supposed to be for fountain pens. It's water-based. But I just love tiny pins. And tea tiny nibs. <laughs> that is lovely. I can't wait to try it out with real ink. The instructions are uh, in Japanese language, so I can't read them. But um, 
it shows that you should wash it before using it. So that's something I will get to do. Thanks for watching.